Welcome back, I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today on Top 600 Mythic, we're playing Simic Tempo. Why? Because Simic, anything else, is uh, quite frankly, absolute dog shit. So bad, has no interaction that is relevant at all to the meta. But Simic Tempo, totally playable, can go at least 50% plus win rate with this deck. It is absolutely solid. First thing to say, it is not a toxic deck. It does run the Venerator Round Priest because this is the only one drop in all of Standard that can win the game by itself. There's no other one drop that does anything like this card does. You can completely uh, change your entire game plan just to win with this card. If you have it on one or even later in the game, it can still just pop off. But you don't have to win with Toxic. You can totally win just by slamming Flyers, drawing a bunch of cards, and swinging for lethal, especially with Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. It allows you to copy cards. A single copy Tyvar Stand, maybe X equals four, adds eight power and um, toughness to the battlefield to swing in the air. That's a lot. That can win games on the spot. Similarly, the Otter, which I'll talk more about, can distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures you control. Again, copied with Ivy, very powerful. You can totally just win in the air. You don't have to win with the Rock Priest, but this card is always in your back pocket if you need that win con. I am excited to play the Otter here. It is the only home for it, I think. There's no other deck that wants to play this card, and I think it is playable. I think it's probably better than playing the Delver, which rarely flips, especially with enchantments. I think it's better than the Vandal, which, or um, the uh, Fairy, which doesn't get in for multiple turns. Worst case scenario, it's a one drop on one you can play. You only have four other one drops, so it's nice in that sense. Turn two, you could put on combat research, swing for damage, hold open protection. Great start to the game, chip in away. Also unblockable against weak creatures, could chip in against planeswalkers. Base case, not bad, gives you another one drop. Upside, like I said, Grove's Bounty doubles as a win comma Tyvar Stan, could copy it, put a bunch of damage in the air, swing with Ivy and one other creature for lethal. So happy to try it out. It's the only it's the only home you'll ever find this card. Rest of the deck is largely setting up for our win cons. We have 14 protection spells, seven in green, four of them in Tamiya Safekeeping. The number one way to beat Mono Red is to be on the play. And the number two way to beat Mono Red is to not be on the draw. And the number three is to play Tamiyo Safekeeping and copy with Ivy and gain four life. That is one way you can possibly survive that matchup, but try to be on the play if you can. Three Tyvar Stand to fill that out, which I talked about. Uh, win Con, slip out the back is essential. It allows you to dodge sweepers like Sunfall and Depopulate. And if you have Ivy, you can copy it, which means two of your creatures survive the sweeper and swing next turn. That is a huge tempo um, advantage for you. March of Swirling Mist, mind-blowingly good. Don't want it early. Only run one to two copies, but can phase out the entire board, again, to protect you against sweepers, and can target numerous things, allowing the Rot Priest just pop off and gain a ton of poison counters out of nowhere. And the seventh slot just goes to shore up to fill that out. For combat research, extremely efficient at one mana to draw extra cards. Only two security bypasses. This is one of the cards on the chopping block for me. Two mana is really expensive for an enchantment that can just get blown out, but um, we're looking to fill out the rest of the deck, and it's okay enough to take the slot. Ivy busted, copies all your spells. Drake, very solid, um, allows you to draw cards whenever you protect it. Shredder is on the chopping block as well. Shredder, security, bypass, and otter are the worst cards. It's okay. It's weird because you don't often want to double spell on your own turn. Often you play a single spell at max and then hold protection. But when you do get to pop off with this card, you filter through lots of cards, get more um, triggers for your Rot Priest. Like, it can be good. Um, I have considered playing the Goose Mother over it. It's just weird because, again, you don't want to tap out for this card either. And this card benefits from investing lots of mana. So we're mixed there. The bottleneck on this deck has always been creatures. We want more powerful creatures. The best ones are Ivy, Drake, and Rot Priest. And then Shredder and Bypass and Otter are kind of on the chopping block. But that's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay let's dive right in on the draw very slow it's gonna be tough Zora's tap land okay keep some options open okay we cannot slam the drake on two because we need the drake so let's do nothing here then slam the drake hope they don't counter it. <laughs> hope they don't have back-to-back -back removal they don't know what we're doing yet though Okay, do you slam the drake now? No, you probably wait another turn. So we have two protection spells open, I think. They get to get really far ahead here though. But our only saving grace is they don't know what we're playing yet. Maybe there's a chance they've been, nope, they've been useless cards. All right, they're ready for us. Tap out for Jace, okay. That gives us a little bit of action here. Well, now the jig is up. They know what we're playing. Not that it's really a secret at this point anyway. Here comes the Drake. Two mana open. All right, make it happen. We have all the protection spells. Plus you, that's okay. OK, 
Okay, we could tap our stand to give it damage. We can't really tap out here, though. That's tough. You start with the combat research, I suppose. Doesn't deal any damage as long as Jace is around, though. Okay, Ivy is good. And even survives the sweeper. I'm willing to go for it here. Because we're pretty far behind at this point. We'll slip out the back for the... Um, no point in attacking here. Deals combat damage. Not going to deal any combat damage. Okay. Mending. We do survive Sunfall. That's our only saving grace here. Let's see if they draw here instead. They might not be thinking about the phase out. We'll see. Nope, they plus here. Okay, that's okay. Alright, do nothing. Fine. A lot of protection. We put bypass on the Drake. I think that's okay. Try to get as many draws as possible here. Ideally, you might want to keep double green open. Okay, target. Sure, we'll take the copy. More land is good. Play the land. Go in face, keep drawing. Raw Priest is good. Otter can probably go here. We could even play the Rot Priest and still protect the entire board, basically. One slip out at the back, one swirling mist. Alright, hold on. Mending again. They are looking for whatever they want. We've got two mana open. One for slip out the back, one for march. Oh boy, they're going for the mill plan. We could phase that out. How bad is it if they mill us here? Half our deck, right? Whenever attacks mill half or down to 20, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's clearly their win con. Does phasing out cause to leave the battlefield? Don't exist. I don't know if that's leaving the battlefield. I think you do phase this out. So we could burn a slip out the back here, I guess. I mean, that's their win con. Yeah, we'll, f we'll phase you out as well. Take the Raw Priest target. Okay, we could win as soon as this next turn, just off the Raw Priest. They negate you. They tap out, though. Yeah, we'll go for it again. Hold on. Can we just win this turn, actually? They'll mill us for this. Uh, I need to see the battlefield. Hold on, hold on. So they could minus five us for 15, right? We'll go to 20. Can we win? Yeah, we can win by targeting the Rot Priest, I think. So I think you let this go and just went off the Rot Priest. Okay, down to 20. Burn a safekeeping here, I think. Should have plenty to do this coming turn. Do I want to draw? I don't really want to draw at this point. Okay. Block here. Don't think the damage matters, but we're going to do that anyway, so... Let's see if they minus five. They minus two. Oh, you're dead. You're toast. Because now we're not afraid to draw anymore. March. I mean, we're going to have a ton of targets here. So this is basically just game on the spot. So we'll start with this. X equals zero. Get all the copies. Take the action. Get the triggers. Yeah, that's game. They tapped out, but um, we can just get them here just with the Raw Priest alone. We'll go another green. Trigger you. Take all the copies. Take the action. Copy again. Raw Priest again. We still have three mana open. 
And here's Lego's last green. Okay, take the trigger, take the copy. Take the action. Okay, then we attack here next. Get some more draws off. And then we'll march to get multiple copies up to nine. And then we only need to target with one more thing. So that's game. Uh, we can bend the Drake, it's fine. Bend the Drake is fine. Land for turn, and we don't even need to do anything else. We can just copy there. All right, tap out against Rob Priest. You are in danger with a lot of land too. Like we had plenty of opportunities to get there. <laughs> the animation's good. On the play with Rob Priest and Otter, we'll keep this. We we'll see you on one. Rob Priest on one. Make him have the answer. If you don't have cut down or play with fire right now, good night. Uh oh. Nothing. All right. Perfect. Good. Um, don't need two protection spells. So you can otter here and still hold Tyvar's stand. Okay, get in for one. Get the otter in there. One green for Tyvar's stand. Okay, there's stick now, so we definitely want to hold protection this turn. Land for turn. You could get the Shredder down, but um, this has us to hold two different protection spells. So we'll just get in here. Okay, swing. To damage. Let's see if they go for anything. No. I think they could still try for a removal spell here. I think holding two options is the safest. So they can't run back to back, go for the throats. One on our turn now, and then one on their next turn. They go for it though, which is nice. Let that part resolve. And then um, we can do a little shore up here, I think. Safe slip out the back. Okay. And now if they have one more, we still have another protection spell ready to go. My turn, okay. More land. Same issue as before. We'll start with the Shredder, and we'll still hold two options open. Okay, get in there. A Ganjo U just needs to be hexproof here. Pay zero. And we still have a phase out versus a sweeper. Uh, we like this, we like the sweeper protection. All right, holds about the back. That's it. All right, no sweeper, that's nice. Land, don't need you. Have about the back for the Emperor. Doesn't play around Sunfall. Yep, there's the Emperor. Let's see what they target. Samurai instead. Okay. Power less than the otter. Okay. Okay, block. I think we phase you out until our start of our next turn. Down to nine, up to seven poison. Hold the land to um, cycle to the shredder. Shredder down. Emperor down. Attack for two Vigilance, four mana open. Land does not do it. Okay, no attacks here. We are out of gas, unfortunately. Deluge, pretty good for them. Let's see if it's Sunfall time. We got nothing. Two attacks. No attacks. We're on full control here. A lot of clicks. All right, my move. We survive another turn. Let's go. Odawara does not do it. 
Target a spell, not an ability. So basically useless here. No attacks again. Void rend. Target you. Okay, we can bounce it. Not sure we replay it this turn. I think you wait till your protection. Let's see if they go for the next target. Nope, we get it back. Well, we're all tapped out. Swing for two more Vigilance. Down to 15. It's another freaking land. Thank you, deck. We'll play this one out, I suppose. Definitely not playing the Otter Unprotected, though. No attacks. Quick Steady, draw two. Hopefully they can get the hard counter from their point of view. No blocks. It's another freaking land. Oh my goodness. Oh, the punish, dude. The flood punish. Emperor. Okay. Another samurai. Another samurai. Down to nine. Show me more land. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. All right. Well, this... Oh my god. We run like 20. 22 land. Something ridiculously low. Good god. What the heck, man? Swing for six or seven this turn. We're almost just dead here. They have the next emperor. They get a plus one here. Attack. We don't block. Could flash in the next one for lethal. We'll probably block with the otter here. It's a plus. They could threaten lethal here. We'll block you. Okay. Let's see if we can hit more land. It's a card. I mean, you have to go for it now at this point. So you shredder and then route priest double spell and cyclone hope to hit something relevant, but it's too late. It's too late. Hit like five lands in a row. Oh, I see the hard counter here. Yeah, hard counter. Just, just end it. Oh my God. Royal treatment. I don't know that you're enough. So they plus here and just swing for lethal. That was, that was abysmal. That was abysmal. Goodness gracious. On the play, no one drop. We'll still keep this. We'll get some blue down. The IV copy is really good if we can pull it off. Orzov. Okay, we don't have protection anyway. IV this turn. Drake next turn. Or reverse orders, I guess. Even slightly better because we have backup drakes. Okay. Removed immediately. Exiling what? Teferi. All right. Fair enough. We still don't have any protection here. We're bottlenecked on green. This could be Rot Priest Drake then. Hopefully something sticks and we can go IV combat research, get the copy off, get some draws. Tap out for Kaito Shizuki. That is what I'm talking about. Now, if they sweep, we'll still be sad. Tie our stand. Okay, I think the plan is the same here. Just draw as much as we can. Hope they don't have the sweeper. We can't really play around that anyway. I guess if we save Tyvar stand, then you can a little bit, but I'd rather just take the draws here. Triggers. Take the action. Legendary gets plus one, plus one, and ward. Safekeeping. Okay. So at least draw a decent amount through this sweeper. Anti-populate would draw us another card, but we are tapped out in terms of protection. Land, is it to populate? Free attack first regardless. Free draw regardless. Let's see what happens here. Let's see after the Sunfall squad. Ah, the Emperor. Okay. 
Oh, well, that's not the end of the world. Target the Rot Priest, leave us with both our draw engines. That's interesting. Back up Ivy. This one deals damage to a player. At this point, I think you... Ooh, we don't, we're so bottlenecked on green. Still, I think you play the Rot Priest and he'll just slip out the back. We can attack here first, see what we draw. I think we're just going face, though. Okay. Draw, draw. The Otter could be a nice win con. Still bottlenecked on green. I mean, maybe you just hold all the protection here. That's probably a bit better. You could play out a single Otter. <laughs> I don't know if that's useful, though. Could keep the Emperor at bay. Yeah, we have to have our stand. All right, we'll play out a single Otter here. Because we don't have anything to do with the blue anyway. And we already have type our stands. So we don't need the Otter Plus to push damage, necessarily. Free attack cannot be blocked. Okay. If they tap out for Sunfall, we can phase everything out. We'll slip out the back. Which is not bad here. Free draw. Okay, no sweep then. Well, maybe still. We'll see. That's it for turn. Uh, we could draw here. I think we just hold double protection still to the very end. Combat research again. Yeah, I think we'll keep stacking that until they prove us otherwise. Ideally, we hit some land. Sure, take the action. Another otter. Okay. Well, go face, hold double protection. You could send an otter at the emperor. That'd be okay. Two damage. Let it all go. Drop to eight. Keep drawing. Land would be great here. We're going to get a lot of draws. Not a land. Not a land. It's a land. Not a land. Okay. That's fine. I think you just hold every protection spell and bin everything else. Double slip out the back is unbeatable, basically. I don't think we need to deploy anything else. So we'll end in happily discard. You can probably bin a backup ivy. Can probably bin one otter. Can probably bin the second otter. Again, because we have Tyvar stand to fill that role if we really had to. I don't know how the opponent's getting out of this one. Yeah, too many protection spells. We got the copy on the IV. Slip out the back, phases through sweepers, so really solid there. On the play with the Rot Priest and some backup creatures. Okay, we'll give him Rot Priest someone. Recruitment officer, soldiers. Well, they're not going to have removal for a while, so that's pretty nice to know. We could happily attack here. They might not block. And if they do, it's not the end of the world. Let's give them the attack. That might not block. Take the block. Okay. So we'll just safekeeping here. Hold the Tyvar stand. Get the trigger. Don't really need to slip out the back. Uh, they're not going to have any removal on two. It's the turn three Cathar we're thinking about. Show the reinforcements. Play the reinforcements immediately. Okay. Land is good. I think you hold the uh, slip out the back for Critical Thar, though. So, no double spelling this turn. Should be able to block everything pretty well this turn with the Shredder. Okay, alright, so life total, probably not our win con anymore. Vanguard, alright. Double spell, nice. Otter, probably what you don't need right here. Can bin you. Everything else is okay. Keep the shredder cycles. Cool pass. More protection. Shred hold green is fine. Okay. Things could get worse very soon. Let's see if they have another pump squad. Harbin. Okay, it's not attacking this turn, but we're going to have to deal with that very soon now. Okay, 
We need answers now or we just lose. So we need to double spell this coming turn, basically. We can do that already. We need to accelerate to victory as quickly as humanly possible. So we're going to start here. Because we have... We bottlenecked on green and we have the double spell anyway. Like, we need to get the lethal now. And we need a phase out card now. Combat research. Okay. That lets us draw. We can also phase out the Harbin. That's probably what has to happen here. Ward 1. So we'll phase out their Harbin before they can attack. And that will blunt some of this blow. Shred here. I don't think they want to block this thing anyway. They could have a counter. That is one way they could win. Just you. Try to draw into land or something. More reinforcements. All right. Still, we have the phase out. It's a lot of life. Okay, give me the draw. Another shredder. To the start of the controller's next turn. So we could phase it out before they draw. I think that's what you do. So they can't draw into a counter spell. Okay, the ward one. Phase you out. Okay. Copper Crow Vanguard. Still a big swing. For sure. Just you. No blocks. We'll keep our resources around. Okay, that's not it. So now we need to double spell here to keep drawing. But we don't have, a, have enough land to do anything with it, really. What other options do we have? It's pretty much it. You have to double spell here. No, you can attack with the Shredder first. And draw into something else good. Okay. Take the draw. Land is not it, but it does allow us to... <sighs> double spell and still hit a playable, I guess. Single spell. Double spell X equals zero. Target you. Okay, we get a lot of connives to phase out Harbin again. That's our only chance here. Okay, you do not help. Although perhaps better than a land, I suppose. Which one is this? Maybe we'll make you bigger. Maybe you're better than a land. Two, four body blocks a little better. Okay, it's okay, but it doesn't phase out. I think we lose unless we phase out, though. March. That's the card. But we don't have enough mana to target the Harbin anyway. So you could phase out like a 1 1, I guess. But if we survive this turn, that's kind of what we need, right? Hmm. Well, it's the card we wanted, but we still might lose here on the spot. We'll see how much damage we take. If we can keep stuff alive and target a lot of things. Maybe we can find lethal. Land is good. They still have the fortified beach. They remember to use it. Yeah, slam attack all. Unsurprising. So, can we survive here? We want to keep as many creatures as possible. So, if we do this... Def definitely lethal. Okay. What if we do this? Also lethal, but close. Okay. So it's really got to be this then. And now what? That's 20 damage. We keep the Rot Priest. That's how it has to be, unless you block a different four-powered creature, but this is fine. But they still, if they remember the Fortified Beach, they also just win, I think. They do. Okay, we tried. It was close. Uh, if we had one more turn, you could phase out two things, get the trigger there. Bagel zero, we can't do anything. Smith zero. Boop. Yeah, it was close. Uh, that'd be three triggers up to seven. I think it's possible we could have drawn off the combat research. I think we could have won that game with one more turn, but they had the Harpen. On the play with Rob Reese, we'll keep this. I have a turn. Let's make him have the one drop removal. Nope, it's Kumano. All right. 
Well, we're off to a great start then. That's nice. We can save some pain land damage here. Go combat research. Target poison. Get in there for damage. Hold protection. Draw up. My land's okay. Next turn, IV hold protection. See if they tap out for a 2-2. A jar. Okay. 4-4 hits pretty hard. I think we'd like to Ivy here. Alright, no attacks. Take some damage, but can inflict a lot of poison on the way back this coming turn. Safekeeping can also crucially gain some life. They tap out though, so they show the entire hand. So that's very good for us. Okay. I think you take Squee. I guess this can make things indestructible, can it? They'd have to sack it though. I think we'll block like this. And um, take the life off the safekeeping. Down one. Poison there. Copy there. Good game. They might scoop on that. <laughs> oh, it's been a minute since I've played Rot Priest. One lander. We mulligan this. Significantly better. Double Rot Priest is good. I put back the Shredder here, I think. On a red. They get to be on the play. We're going to take some pain land damage here, unfortunately. But that's how it goes. Down to 18. Double Rock Priest is powerful. I don't know if it's enough to beat Mono Red on the play. One drop. Let's see if they have the play with fire. They do. Okay. Okay, we don't have more green, which is unfortunate. Play Rock Priest and Combat Research, and just hope you get there. There's no other way to do it. There's no time to hope to hold protection for the key moment. It's now or never. Good news is, uh, safekeeping does gain life. Bad news is, uh, they have the nuts on the play, and, uh, we don't have enough green to do all the things anyway. There's the green. Okay. Game goes on. I do think you attack. Drake. Okay. Ivy, copy the Tamio. Get a single block, indestructible. Could still win here. Phoenix chick in the air, okay. Not sure if there's any stick. Block the biggest creature. I think they do have stick then. So that's unfortunate. Poison. I think they have Blade with Fire too, or Lightning Strike. Take the action. They let this resolve. Hmm? Hmm? Now they wait. Now they use Blade with Fire? Monstrous Rage. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the action. We'll copy that too. Don't know if that helps. Probably does not help, because Trample, uh, Trample about does it, but <clears throat> that was the play to make. We go up to nine. We just take too much damage. I think Monstrous Rage. I mean, they had they had the perfect draw. I mean, they had the Kumano into the the Godric flip. Um, if they had stumbled a bit, I think Tanya's safekeeping could have been just enough to turn the corner, but not this time. On the play, we got the Drake. We'll keep this. It could be okay. We do want some protection. Rakdos, Okubo, Reckon Raid. Really aggressive. Okay. There's some protection. Do you slam the Drake here? No, they're gonna run cut down, I suppose. Any more blue in general. Okay, we wait one turn. We're sitting duck, but then we get moving. Scoundrel, yeah, they're they're getting to it. Rot priest. What's faster, Drake or Rot Priest? 
Rob Priest, we could get going right now and play maybe one combat research on it. And like security bypass next turn. Okay, let's get moving. One poison. Hold a single royal treatment here. Flip the raid. Does not have haste yet. Okay, take your poison. We'll take our hexproof and see if they also have cut down or something like that. They do. A lightning strike. Alright, okay. That's alright, not the end of the world. Now, we don't have any protection for the Drake. We're down to 16 now. It's actually a very solid blocker here. You could risk it all for the Drake. You get the draw anyway. We don't have any protection. Okay. Let's risk it for the Biscuit. We've seen two removal spells. Make them have more. Alright. Well, see if we survive one more turn. No blocks. Take three. Do you have it? Ooh, you might not have it. Okay. They scoop. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. All right. Sometimes you got to risk it. On the play. A little bit of a suspect hand here. I think you actually mulligan this. Let's do better. Okay. This is significantly better. We'll keep this. Maybe put back the slow land. Yeah, I think I'm down for that. Let's go. Rob Priest on the play. Make him deal. Black. No stick there, though. I don't think. You can also hold up in Tamiya's safekeeping. I don't think they have anything. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, combat research is good. I guess you just hold the safekeeping, though, and then you just win. Okay. I think that's the game right there. I don't think they can beat this start. Okay. Land is okay here. Combat research. Auto bit. Scoop. Yeah, you can't beat that start. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This deck. All right. Thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, a subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.